Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number 6 of this Reasonable Squad Builder series. And in this episode, guys, we've got an Austrian team. But uh, for those of you who are new to this series, as I don't believe I released one of these in two weeks, basically it's where I make a team within 15,000 coins or less. And it's to basically compete with those people who have those really expensive teams. And uh, these teams perform unbelievably, that's why I bring them out to you guys. So, as you can see, up front we start with Anortovic, and we've got another player who's a silver, called Okiote, uh, Okioti, and uh, he's a four-star skill, four-star weak foot, both those guys up front, and that's really handy, especially when you want to go in and out of players, and maybe sometimes you want to switch and go on the weak foot and try those shots out. This is a very handy thing to have up front. But uh, going into our left mid, right mid, and set attacking mids, all have that four-star skill as well, which is uh, very useful, I feel, especially considering that they're not a major nationality, but uh, Trimmel over there, Christopher Trimmel, our right mid, 85 pace on him, and he's one of my favorite players from this actual squad, because he's actually got a hidden long shot stat, and that's one thing I must say I stress a lot, as I love taking long shots with players, and just trying to understand different ways of using them, David Alaba here, from Bayern Munich, uh, watched him yesterday play against Arsenal, and sadly didn't get very much gameplay with him, as uh, he doesn't really push up the field as much. Maybe if you change your formation, he'll push up the field slightly more. But uh, we got team Tim Wiese over here as our goalkeeper. That's mainly because I wanted a goalkeeper who's going to keep the ball out the net. Uh, and you pretty much want a strong goalkeeper. So that's why I went with him over there. But top players from this team would have to be a Nortovic and a Trimmel. And also probably go with a Lava in the defense. So have to go with that, guys. But we're going to move into some gameplay now. And uh, enough with the team over here. So... Probably you can try changing the formation up as that might probably help some of you guys out there. But uh, going into some gameplay, we're going to start here with a tackle, getting it to Trimmel over here and uh, giving it three bars and making it look like that meteorite, hitting it into the back of the net and that dipped fairly nicely. In comparison to uh, him being a silver card, we've also got a bronze card who's our centre defensive mid, who does a very strong job actually keeping up with some of those goal players. But as you can see there guys, crazy finish from him over there. So. Definitely recommend trying him out, especially if you're going to have an um, Austrian team or an Austrian Bundesliga team, as he's a very strong player. But as you can see, Akiyoti over here, going for that rainbow flick and then going for a quick chip onto the top of the ball and just managing to get past the goalkeeper. And I do know I came up against quite a few strong British Premier League teams, and I think I came up against two Brazilian teams in this gameplay. That I've got on this one, guys. So you'll get to see that. As you can see, Anortovic over there using his four-star weak foot, and that is very handy that uh, you need that sometimes, guys, just getting in and out of players and then just going with a weak foot. But Anortovic over here going for that chop, dodging that defender, going for another chop for no apparent reason, going for that roulette, trying to finish it on his weak foot, but uh, the keeper saves it, but we're going to finish it off with our center attacking mid over there and not let that skill run go to waste. Another bit by Anortovic over here. Seeing that keeper charging out, we're not going to go necessarily and chip him. Going to go for a few step overs and uh, look at this, left trigger, right trigger, skill dribbling it around him and then just putting it in the back of the net and this guy actually rage quit after this so it was quite funny even though it was in the 89th minute still made a guy rage quit with that <laughs> slight bit of skill and uh, as you can see here guys just getting that volley on the first touch unbelievable finish considering I think it's shooting stats somewhere in the 60s so it's a great job from him there and as you can see guys using that 4 one 2 2 using those triangles as uh, they're very very important but Nortovic getting the block over there and then going for an absolute howler into the, with his left foot into the top of the net don't really expect that, but uh, he did a very good job. And Trimmel here getting the ball in, and Nortovic jumping in like a bullet and diving, headering that into the near post, getting that finish and getting the job done quite nicely. And as you can see, guys, just uh, after conceding a goal, wanted to go with a bit of a skill run. As you can see here, it's sort of working out quite nicely. And this is that Alkioti guy, and uh, look at that, just weak foot, four star weak foot, and finishing off, even though it was kind of a messed up skill run, it was kind of funny. But uh, just having a bit of fun over there, and that's what this team's all about. Pretty much enjoying Ultimate Team. I do know Ultimate Team can become quite stressful at some points, and a lot of people do find it kind of boring. So. That's pretty much one of those things when uh, people make a lot of sweat squads. But as you can see, guys, this team does do a very fun job. At the same time, you can enjoy yourself. But Anortovic over there finishing off quite nicely. And then here, Anortovic got 89 power on his free kicks. And if you've got a 19-yard free kick, um, one of those things I like to do is drill it along the ground. And uh, as you can see, that thing sort of fizzles along the ground so nicely. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, as I was saying before, guys, very good free kick taker as well as a very good striker to have up front. With that weak foot and with his ability to just skill and get in and out with his dribbling stats. 
But I think we're going to go and show you guys another replay of this free kick because it was quite interesting how it went just straight along the ground, giving the keeper no chance as well as the defender who tried to slide for it. But we're going to wrap it up here, guys. So if you guys have any recommendations for any reasonable squad builders, leave me some nationalities and I'll get to that. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe as always. This has been AVJV Gaming and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.